Hey guys, it's CP3 AP, and I'm back with you. We're going to do the New York Giants rebuild. And I waited a little bit because some people were telling me that I was only rebuilding teams that were blue. So I went back and I looked, and that's kind of true. I was, I did the Texans, Cowboys, the Detroit Lions, the Indianapolis Colts, the Taylor Swift edition, and then I finally did the Denver Broncos. So I did orange. So we can finally do the New York Giants, which I know you guys are dying for. So let's see what we can do to get them back to winning Super Bowls like they did a few years back. We've got a huge decision to make with Daniel Jones. It's only a 72 overall which is just terrible in Madden. He's 26, and yet he's got a huge contract. It will just kill us if we try to get rid of him. If you look, 2024, 47 mil. 2025, 41.6 mil. And 2026, 58.6 mil. I don't know how we're going to do it because he's a 72 overall, 26-year-old at quarterback. Tyrod Taylor's been playing, but it looks like Daniel Jones is coming back. Saquon. Saquon Barkley, everybody knows about Saquon. If he's healthy, he's great. He's a 94 overall, 26-year-old. Matt Breida, for, former 49er, as the backup, 73 overall, 28-year-old. Wide receivers, not necessarily in this order, but Sterling Shepard, Paris Campbell, Darius Slayton, and Isaiah Hodgins. Pretty good tight end and Darren Waller. He is 30 years old, though, but he is an 85 overall. Great left tackle from Georgia, 91 overall, 24 year old Andrew Thomas. Great get for the Giants. Evan Neal, not so much, 71 overall, 22 year, year old out of Alabama, holds down the right side. I think Bredesen is starting here as a 67 overall, so we'll have to fix that. Justin Pugh was the starter last year at right guard. We've got Glowinski and Marcus McKeithen, and I don't think Glowinski's starting either. And I haven't seen them on the injured list, so they may have just gotten beat out. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. And then the highly anticipated rookie, at least in my house, John Michael Smith Jr., who's had his ups and downs. He's a 71 overall, 24-year-old, but arguably he was the best center coming out in the draft, so we'll see how he does. At left end, Sean Robinson. At right end, Leonard Williams. And that, those could be switched. Defensive tackle, Dexter Lawrence the second On the Giants website, it has a D tackle and a nose tackle, I believe. Aziz Ojolari is a 74 overall. Kayvon Thibodeau starting at right outside linebacker as a 77 overall. Starting to show some glimpses of the high pick that they used on him out of Oregon. And Bobby Okereke at middle linebacker with Isaiah Simmons backing up. I really expected a little bit more from Isaiah Simmons, but he's still young and so never know what will happen with with these guys that are young guys. Adoree Jackson at cornerback. Deontay Banks has a 77 overall, 22-year-old. Cordell Flott, 22-year-old, 72 overall. Free safety, Xavier McKinney, 25-year-old. Captain, strong safety, Jason Pinnock, 72 overall, 24-year-old. Kicker, I believe it is still Graham Gano And punter, Jamie Gillen. And if that's wrong... I apologize, but I tried to get these as right on as possible from the Giants website. Let's look at our draft picks. Oh, they think we're going to go almost to the Super Bowl. They have us picking 26th. That's, that's very nice. So we have our second round pick, our third round pick, two fourths, fifth, and a sixth. Nothing great, but better than nothing. We will see you at the end of the season and see how the Giants do. I don't have high hopes for them right now. We'll see what happens. So we're here at the playoffs. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket. We finished the season 10 and 7. So we're the sixth seed. So we played the three seed at San Francisco. So don't know if we could have got a worse uh, selection than the 49ers. But Buffalo's the number one seed. 
on the AFC side, and Philly is number one on the NFC side. Daniel Jones, 2,964 yards passing, 17 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 69%. Completion percentage, Saquon Barkley, 357 carries, 1,796 yards, 5 yards per carry, 18 touchdowns. He averaged close to 106 yards per game. That is good. Matt Breida, our backup halfback, had 7 touchdowns. Sterling Shepard had 65 catches for 822 yards and 4 scores. Paris Campbell had 68 catches, 700. 171 yards and three scores. Isaiah Hodgins out of Oregon State, 43 catches, 509 yards, and five TDs. And Darren Waller, the veteran tight end, had 60 catches, 508 yards, and two TDs. On defense, Okereke had 127 tackles, which is amazing. Jason Pinnock had 100 tackles, which is pretty amazing too. I moved Kayvon Thibodeau to the left end spot. He was at an outside linebacker spot. I didn't want to have him worrying about pass protection or anything. So he just gets after the passer. And he had 23 tackles for loss. Dexter Lawrence, our phenom defensive tackle out of Clemson, had 20 tackles for loss. And Leonard Williams, our other right end, had 18 tackles for loss. Dexter Lawrence led our team in sacks, 11 sacks per game. David O, 9 sacks. And Leonard Williams, 4.5 sacks. And Adoree Jackson had 5 picks. Pretty good season all the way around. We're in 87 to the 49ers, 89 overall. We're both 10 and 7, but we are playing at San Fran. We will just advance week, and we won. We beat the 49ers 35-21. Daniel Jones was 22 of 28, 224 yards passing, one passing touchdown, five carries, 25 yards rushing, and two rushing touchdowns. So, of course, we have to face the Cowboys at Dallas. I'll go ahead and play this but I'll try to just skip through it as much as possible. There's Saquon Barkley, the rest of the Giants, 7-3 Giants, 14-3 Giants, 14-9 Giants. Prescott to Jake Ferguson for a 16-yard touchdown. Go for two, and it is good. The Cowboys with the win. So the Giants are out of playoffs. They got to the second round, so not too bad. So we were 19th in offensive yards, 6th in defensive yards, 7th in points scored, 12th in points allowed. Let's view the Pro Bowl roster. Saquon Barkley, Thomas, Thibodeau, Lawrence. Got some blocks to build around. Dory Jackson, Saquon finished third in MVP voting. Aiden Hutchinson was Defensive Player of the Year. Thibodeau finished fifth. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Bijan Robinson. No Giants on there. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Byron Young. And Deontay Banks finished seventh, but he probably played a lot better than a seventh place finish. Buffalo Bills and Dallas Cowboys playing for Super Bowl. So Dallas beats Buffalo 31-28 to win another Super Bowl. Surprise, surprise. Dak Prescott is the MVP. We were 30th in offensive passing yards per game and 25th in defensive passing yards per game. I have seen some horrible things. But those, those are pretty horrible. Jay Hamsley looks like He's going to be good, but we're going to have to see his physicals. Right now, we only have $24 million to play with to re-sign guys. Hopefully, some money opens up in the offseason, but we will see. Let's see combine results first. 442, 13 reps. This looks to be a horrible free agent class. We only have $23 million to play with. All right, so we didn't have much money in free agency, but we were able to get a huge upgrade at right guard or at guard in general because both our guards are not good. But we got Kevin Zeitler as an 80 overall. He is 34, so all of these contracts were 
one or two year contracts. Our strong safety is, I believe, in the low 70s, so he's not starting material. So we picked up Julian Blackman for almost nothing for him being a 79 overall, 26 year old. Then we needed a depth at defensive tackle, so we picked up Quentin Jefferson, 73 overall, 31 year old. He's a scheme fit one, and then he's a on a one-year deal. We gotta get up and get Jay Hemsley. His physicals are not off the charts, but 4-4-2, four, 4-4 four, 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 college pro day. That's good enough for me. 6-7-1 cone drill, 4 oh, 5 shuttle. If anyone has a chance to be a generational player in this draft, it's Jay Hemsley. So let's see what it's going to take to move up to get him because we're going to have to get the first pick. Hey guys, here's our draft. We just had two picks, a seventh round pick, left outside linebacker, 65 overall, and a wide receiver in the second round who's also a 65 overall. thing about the 65 overall wide receiver is that he was a 4-2-2, two, two, if I remember right. And if you see there on the screen, he's a 99 speed. He just basically can't catch so we'll have to work with him and I don't know if he'll see the playing field but and then with our first and third round picks we were going to get a late first and a late third what we did is we tried to go for a wide receiver like Bruce Pickens from Pittsburgh we couldn't afford him under our current salary cap. So we went for Brian Brizzy from New Orleans defensive tackle so that just solidified our defensive tackle our really our whole line one through four the two end spots and the two defensive tackle spots Z is gonna be a manster and um we got him i felt like we got better value trading those picks away and then what we did with our fourth fifth and sixth round picks was trade them for third round picks next year fourth round picks next year and so we should have a lot of picks coming up next year. So Saquon Barkley, I believe is 27. He could be 26. He's a 97 overall. He's having a down year. I just sent him to the Texans for their first round draft pick this year, next year, their third next year, and their fourth the following year. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip that and get premier wide receiver for Daniel Jones, and we'll find a competent running back. So we got Brandon Ayu from the 49ers, 91 overall. He's young, not too young. He's good enough to be our number one immediately. We had to give up three seconds, two thirds and a first, but we got him. All right, it's 26-14 New York in the fourth quarter. It's been a back and forth game. Fourth and one for the Eagles with six minutes left in the fourth. And Jalen Hurts runs for an eight yard rush for a first down. Daniel Jones in the shotgun. Dalvin Cook runs for a first down. Jones back in the shotgun. Dalvin Cook to his left. You know they're going Dalvin Cook up the middle. New York Giants first down. Dalvin Cook breaks that tackle. Gets off of it for an eight yard gain. Jones in the shotgun going Dalvin Cook. And he goes down fourth and seven. 38 yard punt. 10 yard return. 26 20 Eagles. Onside kick recovered by the Giants. Giants are going to win this game. New York Giants fans, you got two playoff wins against the 49ers and the Eagles. Next up, it's a conference championship. So let's see how Washington got here. They beat upset Dallas the two seed 28-7 and they upset the number one seed 34-14 and now they play us the six seed so it looks like we get a home game Raiders and the Chiefs have made it through I'm sure the Chiefs will make it through to the Super I have no doubts. Another bitter rival, the Washington Commanders. There's MetLife Stadium. Giants up 7 to nothing. Giants up 14 to 14 10, 21 10, 28 10. Jones under center. They go right on this play. Good job to stay in bounds. Brandon Ayuk, touchdown. If I didn't say it already, this is all Madden. I only get a chance to play about once a week, and it's usually like this, so not much practice, but no excuses. I throw picks, I throw picks. Congrats, Giants fans. You made it to the Super 
football you're back Daniel Jones is your quarterback so it is the Chiefs that the Giants will play in the Super Bowl so we're at Super Bowl time Pat Mahomes is your league MVP Daniel Jones finished sixth Seth Henry He's the coach of the year for the Jets. Jalen Hurts was the Offensive Player of the Year in the NFC. Aaron Donald in the Defensive Player of the Year in the NFC. Dexter Lawrence and Thibodeau finished second and third, respectively. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Emmanuel McQueen. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Antonio Pierman. Daniel Jones finished second in the NFC Quarterback of the Year. Okay, so here goes the Super Bowl guys, Kansas City Chiefs versus the New York Giants. So we'll be playing in Arlington, Texas. Which I know I've told you guys this, this before, but I watched an NBA All-Star game there in that stadium one time. It was nuts. And I went to the NFL draft this year in KC, which was crazy. <laughs> that is not my three-year-old son going down the stairs but he did throw something down the stairs so hope he's okay 14-7 chiefs 14-14 daniel jones and the shotgun out to waller first down giants ram gano 31 yard field goal looks good daniel jones calling the play at the line Dalvin Cook to his right. Dalvin Cook with the first down, 37 yards on 10 carries and one touchdown on the day. Graham Gano with a 21 yard field goal. Darren Waller, the catch comes up big. Daniel Jones complete again. 20 of 26, 253 yards and a touchdown. Let this clock run down and then call a timeout. Graham Gano's money, 23. 14 so that's two possession game Isaiah Simmons knocks it away for a fourth and four Harrison Butker with the 57 yard field goal and it's good and there's my son who do you think's gonna win son the Giants Giants okay that's what I like to hear the 57 yard field goal was blocked we punted away touchdown Rashi Rice if you like what you guys saw, the New York Giants won the Super Bowl. Please subscribe if you're already a subscriber. Thanks for being part of the Ride or Die gang. Please press the like button. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. Please leave a comment. Let me know what dynasty or franchise you would like to see. Tell me what you thought about this one. Say go Giants. Go Giants. Hit Don't that subscribe dance. button, guys, and make sure that noti bell is on so that you guys get notified about whenever I put out new videos. I put them out as much as I can. It's a little hard with a three-year-old and a four to five-month-old and a wife who's very understanding. I love you guys. I want you guys. And I will see you soon. Mm. Say bye, Cam. Bye.